Hi, my name's Travis, and this is Travis Does Kayak Fishing. And in today's video, I'm fishing with the Lake Murray Kayak Fishing Club. It's a monthly club. I think it's, uh, yeah, just Lake Murray Kayak Fishing. Great group of guys hosted by Ryan Johnson. Tim Day and Alan are helping run it today as Ryan has to leave early. But I have a plan. I've been working on river fishing. And today, I'm going up the river during a tournament. And I'm going to try and make it happen. This is Lake Murray. The water's going to be stained. There's going to be laydowns. There's going to be some vegetation. I might be able to have myself a pretty good day if the river is where the bite is at. That's a nice looking 15. Let's get them back. That's the first one of the event. We're at on Lake Murray and I'm kayak bass fishing with the Lake Murray Kayak Fishing Monthly Club. Ryan Johnson hosts it. Uh, this will be my last event of the year that's not an SE Yak one. I start the SE Yak events in December when winter takes off. More to come soon. But I'm river fishing, right? We launched from Little River Landing and I was gonna fish out by the bridge and then work toward the main lake. And I said, I've really been trying to get better at river fishing. Let's go up the river. And the water temperature seems to be like it got a little warmer initially coming in, then it cooled off. Now it looks like it's warming up again. So what I'm hoping is there's a divide, like a cold water divide where the fish aren't really in the general mid area of the lake, of the river excess. And then as I get back here, it's warmer and the fish are more active and willing to bite. That was on the Vibe Shake with uh, Midnight Ember. You can get that from 4-7 Lures. Wonderful color. If you're not using it, use it in muddy to stained water. It's uh, Africa Special and other brands, but use it in muddy to stained. You're gonna have a great time. Shaky head, Vibe Shaky head. Vibe's gonna be great in this water because it's so muddy, it's gonna put out that chatterbait-like vibration. And I love that Picasso uses that circuit board. So. I've got it paired up on a medium heavy Shimano spinning rod. This is 10 pound Samurai line, so it's not very heavy. So I've got, a, I've got some decent drag set. Anything over like 15 and a half is gonna pull my drag pretty good. But we're just gonna keep fishing it and see if we can get four more fish like that or better. I thought he was gonna be better than that when he came out of the water. He was a, a good size. That one's 16 and a half. Let's get him back. I'm looking for three more fish, guys. Another 
worm back on. What do y'all think of that? It's two almost. Uh, you know, I mean, they weren't back to back, but it was pretty close. Thinking I might leave my net up here for a little bit, just in case. That felt good. So I got a 15 and I got a 16 and a half. So 31 and a half right now with two fish. Man, I'd love to get two more 15 or three more 15s. I feel like if I get three more 15s, I'll probably win. But that's that may be vanity. Nine and a half. He's not gonna do anything for me. So. And this is actually a really good start for me. I work that area hard and then I go look for other areas just like it. What I'm looking for is areas where the channel swings in toward the bank and there's lay downs and I'm fishing along the edge of where it drops down in to this creek, this highway for the bass to travel underwater, the primary channel that's right up against where this brush is. Maybe that's scorable. another nice 15 inch bass nice thick bass up here in the river like i love what we're catching up here so let's just keep going and see if we can't get a couple more that camera is turning some i hope y'all got a good angle there there we go now at this point i'm feeling like i've identified the pattern and i just need to keep working it uh once i run out of areas that match what i'm fishing and work once i run out of areas that match the pattern, I'm gonna turn around, come back and work these areas again. That one doesn't help, but it's always cool to catch a random crappie. Crappy as we say around here, but it is crappie. Whatever though. Repella Rapala, right? What is happening?
Man, one more guy. Alright, there's a 14. I wish I hadn't missed that one while ago, but I got another one right behind it, so I can't be too upset, right? Just keep fishing. I had two misses back to back. Gave it just one minute, went down a little bit, and then threw back to that area. Well, I know it's the same fish that came back. I did bend that hook in a little bit just to make sure it wasn't causing an issue. That worm's starting to look rough. I need one more though, guys. And I'm gonna feel pretty good. I am absolutely off to a fantastic start for me. The plan is working. I feel very smart and I feel very engaged. I feel very much like I have a chance to have some fun today and make some noise. baby I got a chance today it's 14 and a half and And I tell you guys, it took a long time to get to where I felt like I, I was decent at this. You know, I don't think I'm great by any stretch of the imagination. But I feel like when I go into events now, I've got a chance. And I've worked so hard for this. I've spent so many cold, rainy days out here. I've spent so much time over the last five to six years trying to figure out fishing from knowing absolutely nothing. And if I can get out here and compete and figure it out and learn to make friends in the hobby that I love and get to where I feel like I'm competing with the best in my state. I believe you can too. I think time on the water is the biggest thing. I think understanding the sport and being passionate about it and knowing what you're going for and always asking why things are happening and pushing yourself to be better. Don't get stuck in a box. Don't get stuck at a ramp. Don't get stuck doing the same thing over and over. If you try new things and you push yourself, you can go where you want to go. Even if you're not one of the greats, you don't have to be. The same thing with this channel. I don't have to get a million views. I don't have to get 10,000 views. I don't even have to get 500 views a video. There was a guy at the ramp this morning. Told me he moved down here and he recognized my voice, I think. And, you know, he was happy to meet me and told me how to help him catch. And now I'm having a great day out here. And I exist in my corner in my bubble. And I'm trying to do my corner in my bubble as best as I can. And I feel like I'm winning right now in more than just fishing, but in life. And it's taken 41 years for me to get there. But if I can figure myself out, if I can find something I love and feel as complete as I do today, you can too, man. Just, just get out there and go find them. Just go find them. Go find what you want and make your dreams happen, man. Work your ass off. Go as crazy as you want to. Make it your personality. You be what you want to be. And at the end of the day, that's enough for you and everybody else. Be you. It's enough. I'm sorry. I worked hard to get here, guys. And you know, that's probably not mostly, and that's probably not the most manly thing to do on camera, but it doesn't matter. I'm passionate about this sport and I love it. And 
sometimes my life being amazing gets the best of me. Thank you guys for coming along and watching me grow from nothing to where I am now. It means the world. I don't, if it does, it ain't gonna be by much, but. All right, it's 13 and a half. That doesn't kick, but that's another fish on the day. So with my plan working all day long, I feel pretty confident about, hey, let's go hit that one other stretch of run that I hit in the morning when I run into Allen on the way down. Tells me he's got a fish and he's working on another. But I warms up, I come back down and I'm fishing the same area from earlier, the edge of the primary channel. I think we got us a kicker. I think we got us a winning fish. Oh, 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 oh my lord. Oh my lord. Oh my lord. <laughs> Where's Travis Folk showing up today? That's a 17 and a quarter, guys. Beautiful, beautiful fish. I, for a second, I thought that camera wasn't wearing. I was gonna punch. I think we just won, but we need to try and get better. All right, so let's recap our day in a way I haven't done in a while with Google Earth. We launched from Little River Landing. There were 15 of us. And I think a lot of people went main lake, not a lot of people chose river. I actually only saw one guy all day, but I made the run almost out of the gate. I tried some top water early for a couple minutes, it didn't work. So I went way up the river to where I knew the channel swings got tight and there was some ditch to separate. I found some good lay downs where it created breaks on the river and I was able to catch fish one, two, and three before moving up, catching fish four, five, uh, just having a wonderful time hitting the areas that I thought would work and tearing them up with a shaky vibe. I moved up and got six. Uh, he was an okay one, turned around, came back down, got fish seven. I had it marked eight here, so just bear with me one second. I'll get that corrected. But it was about turning around and fishing the areas that I knew had maintained fish earlier. River fish tend to be homers, but that doesn't mean every homer in the area is going to bite the first time you pass. So let them calm down, forget what they saw a little bit earlier and hit them again. And if you're lucky, it'll work and it worked for me. I got another fish on the day. This here should have been fish eight as well, but whatever. Uh, but fish eight was a good one. He's the one who put me in. I could have used another kicker. Had I got like a 20 inch bass, I probably could have jumped in and competed for the first spot. But I wasn't too far behind, just needed a good kicker. And you guys can see why this area was so good. The breaks, the ditch. And overall, I finished in second place. This was a great group of guys to fish with. And I look forward to fishing with this club here and there in the future when time allows next year. So thanks for coming. Hope y'all enjoyed. Later.